Our senior leaders have been clear and direct in saying we're dealing with new technology and we're dealing with a new threat. We need to go fast in determining the competitive advantage of autonomy and how to ultimately operationalize autonomy for the warfighter. New Air Force video highlights the future of AI in air combat. Emphasizing the enduring presence of artificial intelligence AI, in the military, the U.S. Air Force unveils a video showcasing its pivotal role in revolutionary advancements in unmanned aerial systems. The video release includes insightful comments and updates on ongoing projects, featuring the extraordinary X-62A experimental testbed, a extensively modified F-16 Viper fighter, and the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie drones. These initiatives are integral to the Air Force's overarching next-generation air dominance modernization effort, specifically contributing to the collaborative combat aircraft drone program. Undoubtedly, AI is set to shape the future of air combat. The Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, has recently shared a new video on the Defense Visual Information Distribution Service DVID's, website highlighting the Autonomous Aircraft Experimentation AAX, initiative. This initiative primarily focuses on the testing and enhancement of artificial intelligence and machine learning-driven, autonomous capabilities for future advanced unmanned aircraft. The aim is to transition these technologies from the confines of the laboratory to practical operational platforms. The video features insights from Bill Evil Gray, the chief test pilot at the Air Force's Test Pilot School, who explains the integration of artificially trained neural networks from simulations into real-world scenarios, specifically in controlling an airplane through the AAX program. Air Force Colonel Tucker Cinco Hamilton, the chief of AI test and operations emphasizes the significance of artificial intelligence, stating, we must acknowledge that AI is not only present, but here to stay. It is an incredibly powerful tool. Colonel Hamilton further highlights the transformative nature of the collaborative combat aircraft program and the autonomy it offers, describing it as revolutionary and foreseeing it as the future of the battle space. The video underscores the Air Force's commitment to harnessing the potential of AI in shaping the future of aerial warfare. The Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation SDPE, Office of the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, has taken the lead in the AX initiative. The participation extends to the Air Force's 40th Flight Test Squadron located at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida and the test pilot school situated at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Additionally, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is also involved in this collaborative effort. These endeavors are closely intertwined with AFRL's Skyborg Advanced Drone Program, which has been recognized as a vital technology feeder for the Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA program within the overarching Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, initiative. Over the past year, Eglin Air Force Base has emerged as a significant center for AAX testing, partly due to the availability of extensive offshore training ranges in the Gulf of Mexico. The 40th Flight Test Squadron, stationed at Eglin, obtained its initial XQ-58s in October 2022 to specifically facilitate this testing. Since the Valkyrie's inaugural flight in 2019, the Air Force has employed these aircraft extensively for various test and evaluation objectives. Eglin Air Force Base's growing role in AAX testing underscores its importance as a hub for advancing unmanned aerial capabilities. In the video, Air Force Major Ross West Elder, a test pilot, explains that the XQ-58 is initially operated through a ground control station. However, he highlights the future capability to transition to artificial intelligence-driven flight. This transition indicates the Air Force's intent to leverage AI technology to enable autonomous flight operations 
for the XQ58, showcasing the potential for increased automation and advanced capabilities in unmanned aircraft. Eglin Air Force Base will soon become the host for six modified F-16s, dedicated to supporting autonomous flight operations under the project named Viper Experimentation and next-gen operations mode Venom. While the X-62A, also known as the Variable Stability In-Flight Simulator Test Aircraft, Vista, at the test pilot school possesses specialized capabilities, the Venom F-16s are expected to have a broader scope. The Vista jet is uniquely designed to replicate the flight characteristics of various crewed and uncrewed aircraft, in addition to its newly acquired capability of engaging autonomous operational modes. You have a set of computers inside Vista and those computers can make the airplane fly like other airplanes, according to Chief Test Pilot Gray. You're flying this F-16, but it feels like you're flying an F-35 or a B-52 or a Boeing 707. Last year, the Pentagon did disclose that it had obtained at least one MQ-28 Ghostbat drone for the purpose of testing, in collaboration with the Air Force, and that one of these drones was located within the United States. Simultaneously, the Air Force confirmed that Boeing was no longer actively involved in the Skyborg program. According to the service, Boeing's intentions to provide Ghost Bat drones, or similar versions for the support of Skyborg, conflicted with its obligations to the RAAF, Royal Australian Air Force. In May, Boeing unveiled the initial official image of an MQ-28 drone within the United States, showcasing it at their facilities located at Mid-America Airport near St. Louis, Missouri. Boeing has indicated that the MQ-28 design, or a related version, might be considered for the CCA, low-cost attritable aircraft, program and has also expressed interest in developing a variant capable of operating from aircraft carriers. Additionally, the war zone recently delved into how the Ghost Bat drone could potentially facilitate increased collaboration on advanced unmanned, aerial systems and autonomous capabilities, specifically among the United States, Australia, and the United Kingdom through the Trilateral AUKUS Defense Cooperation Agreement. The comprehensive AAX testing ecosystem comprises not only aircraft, but also includes ground-based simulators and other supportive components. This enables the Air Force to develop novel AI-driven autonomous capabilities that are software-defined. The virtual environment allows for experimentation with these capabilities and subsequently assess their performance in real flight test scenarios. In an AFRL Air Force Research Laboratory video, Matthew Rico Enemic, the AAX experimentation lead, emphasizes the importance of understanding the user's requirements to deliver operational effectiveness. He mentions the need for concept refinement through collaboration among warfighters, technologists, and industry experts. Major Elder, the Air Force test pilot, highlights the significant advantages of conducting tests, particularly the ability to experiment and showcase capabilities within a controlled environment. This allows for the collection of vital data and lessons learned, which aids in the development of systems while mitigating risks for future endeavors. The utilization of platforms like the Vista aircraft creates an opportunity to demonstrate and experiment with concepts. Major Elder emphasizes the importance of showcasing these concepts in action alongside fifth-generation aircraft, enabling the direction of system development based on test data. This collaborative approach assists developers in creating the desired capabilities. The widely used term, fifth-generation aircraft, typically denotes stealth fighters such as the F-22 Raptor and F. 35 Joint Strike Fighter. Presently, the Air Force is actively pursuing the acquisition of a new sixth-generation stealthy combat jet as part of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. 
Additionally, the forthcoming B-21 Raider stealth bomber has been referred to as the first true sixth-generation stealth aircraft. Based on the available information, the recent AFRL AAX video showcases a combination of actual footage and computer-generated imagery, depicting F-22s alongside non-stealthy fourth-generation F-15E Strike Eagles, operating in conjunction with diverse drones. The Air Force has previously stated that it anticipates close collaboration between CCAs, low-cost attritable aircraft, fifth-generation platforms, and forthcoming sixth-generation platforms. It is likely, if not certain, that these drones will also operate alongside fourth-generation fighters and other non-stealthy aircraft. They are designed to conduct autonomous operations independently or as part of coordinated groups, including fully networked swarms. The U.S. Air Force intends to procure a minimum of 1,000 CCAs, with the possibility of this number increasing significantly. This figure is based on a concept of operations that involves pairing two CCAs, with each of the 200 NGAD combat jets, as well as 300 F-35 Ads.